Jazz getting ready to host the Clippers tonight, but they will not have Mike Conley, who's been great from three-point range so far in the postseason. Injured his hamstring in their closeout game five against the Grizzlies close to a week ago. Did practice for a little bit yesterday, but has officially been ruled out by the team tonight with game one tipping off at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Let's bring in former NBA Coach of the Year and NBA champion Avery Johnson. Avery, if you're Quinn Snyder, how does this affect the way you approach game one? Well, it, it significantly affects how you approach game one because you're looking at a guy with Mike Conley who has a 5.1 or 2 assist to turnover ratio. So he's basically the coach on the floor. He's the quarterback. He's the engine. Um, Quinn Snyder loves when the ball is in Mike Conley's hands because he makes really good decisions with the ball and he's a much improved shooter as you've shown in the graphic. He's shooting 54% from the three-point line. He can play on and off the ball. So now this puts a lot more pressure on Mitchell to handle the ball, have more ball handling uh, duties, maybe run some point forward with you know a lot of his guys that, that play you know on, on the front line. So this significantly uh, affects uh, the Utah Jazz's attack on the offensive end of the floor and they're they're playing uh, one of the best defensive teams in the league and I, and I say that looking at the two superstars Kawhi Leonard and Paul George how does that change things then from a, a Clippers perspective when you no longer have to worry about Mike Conley and the depth shrinks a little bit for this Utah team yeah it's just as I said it's more pressure on Donovan Mitchell uh, you can you'll look for the Clippers to trap Donovan Mitchell more um, than when Mike Conley's on on the floor because he doesn't have that other guy to, to outlet the ball to that can handle the basketball. Uh, you can look for Paul George to be a little bit more aggressive uh, attacking on the offensive end of the floor. Obviously, you know he's been a little bit inconsistent, especially during the crunch time of the game. But this is a this is a prime time opportunity for the Clippers to steal this game one on, on the Jazz home court, especially with Mike Conley being out. We don't know how long he's going to be out. I've said it over and over and over again. I do not like hamstring injuries. The, the, those injuries, hamstring and groin injuries, are very hard to rehab. Uh, you just don't actually know when you're back 100 percent, and just when you think you are then you know you strain it again so we're gonna have to watch this very closely to see how much Mike Conley is going to be able to contribute to the Utah Jazz and their success in this series that's exactly what happened Avery because he hurt that hamstring during the season missed 21 games in the regular season sat out I believe it was nine straight games toward the end of the season came back for two regular season games and then was good first four games in the playoffs but then boom game five and that was already close to a week ago now, and he's still not ready to go. So when you look at this series and the way the Clippers finish things up with four out of five against the Mavs, uh, who do you like and in how many games? Well, I like the Clippers. Um, I like the Clippers in this series. I, I think overall they're a better team. Uh, they have the best player on the court who's experienced at winning championships. That's Kawhi Leonard. Um, I, I think Paul George is going to elevate his play. And, the, and the, the others, you know, the Reggie Jacksons of the world, uh, I, I think he'll have an opportunity to contribute. Rajon Rondo, playoff Rondo, wasn't as much of a factor in this last series against the Mavericks. But guess what? He, he knows what he's doing. He's played a significant role with the Lakers last year in winning the championship. So um, I, I, I'm taking the Clippers uh, in, in six games in this series. All right, Avery Johnson says Clippers in six as the Clippers try to steal game one. If that happens, I don't think there's going to be any panic for the Jazz. That's what happened in uh, game one of their first round series with Donovan Mitchell out against the Grizzlies. They came back and won the next four. That series kicks off tonight, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Avery Johnson joining us here as Mike Conley has been ruled out for game one with a hamstring strain. Game two is Thursday, so still, uh, you would think, very much up in the air for that game considering he has had these hamstring issues uh, for the better part of the season. Utah with the best odds to win the title out of the West at plus 350. The Nets are the favorite at plus 115. If you like the Clippers, 
pretty good value at five. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.